continuing to our learning of Solidity language, smart contracts and the Remix platform. In the previous videos, we have already seen what is Remix, how to explore Remix, basics of Solidity language, how to write a smart contract, how to deploy it, how to compile it and we have already seen that how we can see it on a RingB Etherscan platform. In today's session, we will be seeing another smart contract and learning a little bit of more of Solidity. To see another smart contract, over here we have written a Solidity contract using a much higher version of the compiler that is 0.6.0. In the previous example, we used a lower version and this is a more compatible version of the compiler. So let's see a small program and try to understand how this program is written. What are the key concepts of this Solidity smart contract? Then we will compile it and deploy it in the same way as we have learned in the previous contract. So let's study it. The Solidity language program begins with pragma. We have already seen contract is a keyword which is written to initiate begin the contract counter over here is the name given to the contract it uses a data type of unsigned integer and a variable by the name of value the contract is basically where we are incrementing and decrementing a value so it is behaving like a counter we have used a function called initialize which initialize the value of the variable value the name of the variable is value and the function initialize is used to initialize this value so the user will be giving a value and it would be initialized by passing by this statement value is equals to x to write a function the same concept is written name of the function keyword function, then the parameters, which is of type integer, so unsigned it, and this is a public function. It can be accessed anywhere. Then this is a getter function. Over here, we have used the concept of view. View means that this function is a getter function and it will not be doing any change into the blockchain network. It will not be affecting the blockchain network. So when this function will be called, the MetaMask will not be called for confirmation of the transaction because it is not doing anything. It is not writing anything into the blockchain. It is just retrieving. Therefore, we have given the word view over here and this function simply returns the value, whatever is the value of the value keyword of the value variable, we should say. Now, this is a function which is increment, which is incrementing by the particular digit which is being sent by the user. So over here, we will be giving an input and that input would be added to the value. And similarly, by the decrement function, we will be giving an input and that value, that input would be decremented from the value variable. So this smart contract is much more interactive and this is another example of how do we write a Solidity smart contract. So let's see that how can we compile it and how the program would be run. So the compilation is in the same way as we have done before. Just we choose the compatible compiler that is 0.6.0. Click on compile.sol. Yes, it has start compiling and it has compiled. How do we come to know it has compiled? ABI and bytecode has been taken play is displayed over here then we click on deploy then instead of javascript virtual machine we choose injected web3 and as soon as we choose injected web3 definitely the metamask would be asked so as i have not logged in so it is asking for my password let it take the password yes so it has shifted to the ring b network it shows that it has shifted to the ring b network this is the account address of ring b network and these are the ethers which are there so let's click on deploy when we click on deploy 
again the metamask would be opened and it will ask for confirmation of the transaction so we do the confirmation of the transaction it will take some time and the contract would be deployed so in this session we are learning more about solidity how can we write the solidity and also practicing again the compilation and the deployment which we have done before also so now we dip the contract has been deployed you see decrement increment and initialize these are the three functions over there so let's click on initialize over here and we initialize the value by 10 it will ask for the metamask confirmation for the final confirmation confirmation has been done it will take some time transaction to counter pending you can see over here when the initialized transaction has been approved once it has been approved we can check the value by clicking on get so it is taking the time yes it has been done you see that confirmed transaction so the time which it is taking is actually when the miners are authenticating it so when we click on this get function no metamask confirmation will be there and the value as highlighted over here 10 because we initialize the value 10 now if we click on this increment function and we say that incremented by 2 so increment is again a function which will be requiring a metamask confirmation it asks for the metamask confirmation this confirmation has been done and counter increment pending counter increment pending it will take some time for the minus to approve as soon as it would be approved the increment would be done yes so it has been approved confirmed transaction we click on get as you can see that the value has been incremented by 12 similarly the decrement can be used so in this video what we have tried is what was the goal was that we have written another smart contract and the session describes that how can we write a smart contract in a much different way with a much more advanced compiler and we learned the new concept of initializing and using the view parameter also so this is how the solidity language can be used you can learn more about of solidity language and deploy more and more of your smart contracts in the coming videos we will be writing a much bigger smart contract and deploying it using a remix id then we'll also be using a one click dap and in more number of videos for additional knowledge we'll be using all the process of this smart contract deployment creation using the truffle and ganache atmosphere thank you so enjoy the learning